Welcome back to uh, From uh, the Mic Stand here on Lost Echoes, which you've seen a brilliant set from uh, James uh, Joseph here at MASH. So, James, how have you been? Yeah, not bad, not bad, how are you? Good, good. It was uh, great to see you live, and this time with a bit more uh, mic'd up, I guess. Yeah, I thought I'd, I need to build on last time. Sure. It's, it's kind of my favourite style of music a bit, and mm. it's just hard lugging all the equipment around everywhere you go. <laughs> yeah, and it was lovely, it had that kind of Celtic folky sound, I love that sound. Yeah, any, anything with a bit of a twist like that, yeah. just, you know, like you say, that echoey sound. Mm. Yeah, love it. So for people who haven't heard much about you before, just want to tell them a bit about yourself? Yeah, just local musician to Manchester, been yeah. gigging for a fair bit now, mm. on, that on and off, um, just for fun really, it used to yeah. be a bit of a, a thing to try and make something of it, but now it's just a bit of enjoyment and stuff right. really. Right, sure. And was there any like particular moment or a person that like inspired you to get on stage in the first place? Or? Um, big big fan of uh, rock and a few rock bands when I was younger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Led Zeppelin and ACDC right. and all that, but it was kind of hard to, to sort of copy them and do the same thing on your own. So I think Bob Dylan is the biggest one. Right, yeah. When I first heard his, mm. his bootleg album. Sure. So, uh, what one, one man with a scratchy voice could do with yeah. the guitar was quite amazing. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And when you're writing your own material, is there any particular place you draw upon? Or? No, it's a, it's a bit of an amalgamation of different things normally when I write. Mm. Normally a lot of people I speak to write about, they're writing about a person or a thing, and mine's no, normally just a random collection of kind of feelings, I suppose. Right, sure. Which is why they, yeah. they're a bit all over the place. Mm. <laughs> And then, um, is there any particular time or mood that you get into write, or do you write constantly? How does that work? Um, I tried. I, I used to do. It. I used to be have like that. Here's I'm doing a day, a day here, or you know, try and set a time. Yeah. When the mood takes me, and mm. try write, and it's just it's a bit hard to do. So I thought the more, the more you write, the more, you know, you definitely have to, your brains in that kind. Yeah, of exactly. So I thought just do it more, even if you're not necessarily mm. in the mood. Do yeah. bits of it here and there, and just see what comes. Mm. Tends to be a bit more creative there. And like over the lockdowns and all the past years, were you one of those lucky people who could write, or were you like? Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, fine, fine with the writing side. Just yeah. couldn't do any of the gigging. Wow, well, true. Side, <laughs> which is a shame. Mm. You know, at writing, I mean, just kept busy working during lockdown. Mm. But writing wise, it was quite. There was a lot to write about, yeah. wasn't there? <laughs> and have you managed to do any new recordings or anything like that? People listen to. No, not yet. I've got some stuff on the way though. Right. Fingers yeah. crossed. Sure. Yeah. Um, been working on quite a few new different sounds, like say a bit more of an electric sound yeah. and stuff like that. But they'll they'll be coming soon. And um, when you record, is that at home or do you do it in the studio or how's that all work? I've done studio stuff in the past, but I thought I'm gonna set set up my own my own home stuff now. Alright, yeah. Give it a proper go myself sure. and try. So have you got a whole setup and things, Nick? I've yet? Got, or I've got a few bits. Yeah, right. But it's just learning how to use any of them. Right, <laughs> it's of probably course. more complicated yeah, than recording. <laughs> and um, have you managed to get out there gigging again yet, or was that something you plan to do soon? Or do what? So you managed to get out there gigging again? Or oh, hopefully this this summer when I've finished finished uni for the summer. Got right. Me bit of time that is the plan to go and do mm. as much as possible really. And what have been some of your favourite places to play in the past would you say? Well more unique places? Um well, it's been there's been a couple. I think playing Deaf Institute was one of my favourites. Yeah. Just because it was, you know, it's right in the heart of Manchester. Yeah, nice definitely. little place. Mm. But I used to play a couple of places around um, where I live, like a bit uh, near Berry. Mm. So a little place um, called the Artisan that was quite nice to play. Right, first right. first gig I ever did. Sure. So that holds nice memories. And has it always been a solo thing for you, or would you play together with a band? Um, I've done bits on and off with a few people. Just you know, only little stuff here and there in the right. past. Yeah. Um, I have to get a band for next time to. Yeah, you know, yeah. One up myself. One up the level. Yeah. <laughs> No, I just I like the idea of being able to do my own my own thing. I suppose. Right. It yeah. would have been nice mm. to have to have a band, but just for that creative control, mm. I think it. You know, yeah. I prefer it on my own. Sure. On my own now. And uh, if people want to find your music and find about you, um, what's the best place to do that? Um, oh, Facebook, YouTube, I suppose. Yes. Yeah. Follow James mm. Joseph. I do have a website. 
but I'm not sure if it's working at the moment. Right. <laughs> it, so that was my go-to for everything, but it has not been. It's been down recently. Yeah. But yeah, every, everything will be on through Facebook. I think yeah. it tends to be the place I advertise. So is it like videos there or recordings? Yeah, or? there's, there's um, videos of my past, the last last year or two, last couple of years of gigs. Right. right. All, the, all the YouTube links and stuff like that. Just seems to be the best place to find you yeah. know like like-minded people mm. to, to share stuff with you. Well, brilliant! Thanks for coming on the show no, today. Thank it's you for having been me. Pleasure to have you on. Here again, third time. Yeah. <laughs>